The subject of our next lesson on lipid metabolism from Chapter 17 is ketogenesis. Fatty acids are a vital source of energy during a fast. Remember, we're not taking any food in, so glucose is unavailable, and we've depleted our glycogen stores. Unfortunately, the brain cannot burn fatty acids. They pass poorly through the blood-brain barrier, and so it needs a source of glucose. In this case, then, gluconeogenesis by the liver is very important to supply the glucose that the brain needs. The liver can also produce ketone bodies from acetyl-CoA in the mitochondria, and the brain can use these ketone bodies. It can cross that blood-brain barrier, and it can use those as fuel. Here is the beginning of the process illustrated on the far right. We're going to condense three molecules of acetyl-CoA, and they're numbered. Two are condensed in the first step to form acetoacetyl-CoA, and then one more acetyl group is added by HMG-CoA synthase, and here's our product, 3-hydroxy-3-methylglutaryl-CoA, or for simplicity, HMG-CoA. So that's a six-carbon compound. Next, we have the enzyme lyase that's going to clip off that end acetyl-CoA group, and that will form acetoacetate, pictured here. This can then be reduced. We're going to reduce that carbonyl carbon to a hydroxyl group, and that forms 3-hydroxybutyrate. These two products in boxes, the acetoacetate and the 3-hydroxybutyrate, are the ketone bodies. You'll notice these are both acids, they both have carboxyl groups. So if ketogenesis is taking place and in excess, then we generate many of these ketone bodies, and that's a case of ketoacidosis. Acetoacetate can be spontaneously decarboxylated to form acetone. This is not carried out by an enzyme. It's a non-enzymatic, spontaneous process. So again, our two ketone bodies are acetoacetate and 3-hydroxybutyrate. For individuals that are in the midst of ketoacidosis, that is, high levels of these ketone bodies, you can actually detect that by the presence of the smell of acetone on their breath from that side product that comes from acetoacetate. In our next lesson on Chapter 17, we'll see how we generate the storage form for fatty acids, triacylglycerols. We'll also look at the different ways that we can synthesize glycerophospholipids.